Hello, my name is Joe Munchell. I'm the Automotive Product Director for Phillips 66. And I'm Kyle Kress, the Technical Coordinator for Automotive Products for Phillips 66. We're here today to introduce our new video series where we'll discuss API SP and ILSAC GF6. We'll give you expert insights into what those categories mean and how our oils are here to protect you. API SP and GF6 are the forthcoming uh, specifications that are going to govern the passenger car engine oil market. Um, so we will be ready to go as the industry is ready to go. So API SP and GF6 are really coming to the forefront because of the changes in automotive design. So you have GDI engines, start-stop engines, different wear protection needed, as well as CAFE fuel economy standards. Everybody wants to get more fuel economy and reduce greenhouse gas emissions. And that's really key, what you mentioned about the stop-start technology, the GDI. That's really the way that the OEMs are, are driving fuel efficiency and greenhouse gas reductions but also GF6 and API SP are really formulated to help protect some of the systems that are required to, to hit those targets. Along with API SP and GF6, there's gonna be a new category, so it's called GF6A and GF6B. So GF6A is gonna be represented by your traditional starburst, which you're probably used to seeing. That'll be cover viscosity grade 0W20, 5W20, 5W30, and 10W30. Well, 0W16 will be represented by GF6B, and you'll see the new Shield logo on the front of the bottles. Yeah, and one other thing to add, too, is, is that the uh, SP category will still apply to the 10W40s or 5W40s, just like today where GF6 or GF5 is not applicable to those. So again, ILSAC are your predominantly fuel efficiency grades, and then your SPs cover both those fuel efficiency grades, but also cover some of those heavier viscosities that you may find. So yes, they are backwards serviceable uh, for SP and GF6 in some applications. To your point about the B category for GF6 and the 016, uh, it's really key to mention that those a lot of times are not going to be back serviceable unless the OEM specifically says it is okay to make those back serviceable. Uh, but predominantly those are going to be standalone viscosities that you're not going to find outside of very specific applications. API SP and ILSAC GF6 coming May of 2020. We're here to update you every step of the way. Stay tuned for our next video.